Oats. Quaker Oats? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Oats what are going to call uh, Coleman now? <laughs> exactly. So Coach Oats is on the, uh, on the staff. Now well, he's running the staff and running things and whatnot. What do you think about the hire first and foremost? And do you think he can do a pretty good job? And was this a good hire by Greg Byrne? Well, I have to say, at first, I thought that it was a very questionable hire, but I got to say, after I heard him in the press conference and he said, Oh, he you know, started up. Oh, yeah. yeah. He said, I'm working hard to get some of these players who are in the transfer portal out of the transfer portal. And then he said, well, some of them might need to just stay there. I'm like, that's the type of coach that I love right. to hear. He's very candid. He's very open. He knows right. what he wants. He wants kids that are going to work hard. You guys know I've been harping on that. Alabama, they need these athletes that are going to work hard. So I feel like he's a great fit. I think so, too. And also, just his confidence coming into that press conference really sold me as well. And also, what he was saying, um, I think he said he wasn't going to take a job until it was the right job. The right. And for Alabama to be the right job for him, I think, speaks volumes as far as what he's going to do with that team and where he's going to take them. John Petty coming back now, huge oh, thing yeah. for them. But I'm excited to see where he's going to take them this year. I am, too. Of course, he had signed a contract extension a few weeks ago. Right. And, of course, mm -hmm. as we mentioned, it would take the right job for him to leave Buffalo, and mm -hmm. apparently that was. Interesting note, so the athletic director at Auburn used to be his athletic right, director right. at mm -hmm. Buffalo, and he actually had high praise to give about him. And he also gave a disclaimer, look, I'm not saying I'm rooting for Alabama in this one, but I'm rooting for the person in this aspect. So it looks like I think he can be a good hire, but of course, you got to see what kind of impact he's got to make from the beginning. Can he keep guys close? Can he keep guys in the mix? He's already got one commitment. We'll see what happens moving forward. But don't forget, as you see what Auburn's doing, that's going to kind of up the ante and light a fire under those folks in T-Town to see what can Bama basketball do now. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Get them back on the map. Oh, yeah. I, I completely.